Many of you have had questions about the school year, so we have been collecting them and wanted to take them directly to the people in charge. Joining us now is Dr. Carla Loria, who is the Chief Academic Officer at CCSD. Thank you so much for your time this evening. We greatly appreciate that, Doctor. We do have several questions from our viewers, so let's begin with the first. Teresa Roach McHugh, she wants to know what is the district going to do about the magnet programs? She says her daughter is in her senior year at Northwest, and it's a very hands-on program. Thank you for having us and for allowing to answer some of these questions that are so important for so many of our parents. Distance education, of course, is not ideal, but it's needed um, during the current pandemic. So for magnet programs, all, we understand that they are hands-on, and uh, in many cases, it is important for the kids to be in school. Um, but our students... Uh, we'll have the opportunity to engage with the teachers um, virtually. Our teachers are finding great ways to um, do the best they can to reach out to the students, um, allow them to participate in activities, in on, online activities that are engaging. Uh, we do know that distance education is not ideal. We want students back in school, but again, it's needed due to the pandemic. Uh, our trustees are receiving updated health information every 30 days. Uh, they um, will be determining um, based on the information we, we receive. Uh, when is a good time for all of us to be to go back to classroom? Um, of course, keeping safety in the for, uh, in the forefront. Doctor, our next question yeah. comes in from a viewer named Kelsey Chatwin. She writes in, "What are the schedules going to look like for preschool and kids with IEPs? Will students who need help with speech still get to see a speech teacher?" Um, yes, the schedules for preschool will look similar to um, the kindergarten schedules. Uh, they will follow the normal schedule or during that normal hours. Uh, if um, the child is in half-day preschool, it's going to be, of course, a shortened day. If it's in a full-day preschool, the student will uh, have opportunities to engage uh, in two ways with the teachers. One of them is the synchronous uh, way. We have heard that word um, more often lately than ever, uh, but that really means um, to be able to participate in a face-to-face -face, um, activity with the teacher and a live activity with the teacher virtually. So it is just like we are doing right now uh, via the technology, they are going to be able to access the teacher directly and also they will be able to, uh, to uh, learn via asynchronous um, model lessons, uh, which really means uh, the students engage in, in their own learning independently with activities that have been specially selected by the teachers to continue the learning of the student. Um, students with IEPs, uh, students like you said who may need speech, they will be able to connect virtually with the teachers. At this point, um, the teachers uh, will need to use their discretion and determine whether they feel comfortable to come into the school, whether they feel safe to come into the school and, um, and either work at the school uh, or from the school or work virtually. But they will be able to engage in, um, in the special needs uh, opportunities that they may have uh, based on their IEPs. Okay. Dr. Luria, Mandy McCabe wants to know the following. She wants to know if there will be any additional tutoring services available. Um, yes, there will be additional tutoring services. Tutoring services have, uh, have always been managed at the school level. Um, and there will be opportunities for students to engage um, in smaller group or one-on-one -on -one sessions virtually. Uh, with their teachers as the teachers feel uh, the need. We're also as a district working with different organizations um, to um, organize probably uh, community organizations who may be also available to provide services to students and if they feel comfortable they may be students may be able to attend those sessions um, face to face. Dr. Luria, this question comes in from Scott R. Joseph. He writes in what is going to happen with the credits towards graduation? Um, as usual, there are, uh, there are online credit retrieval options for students. We also have the Nevada Learning Academy, and that will be functioning as normal. They have always been 
uh, virtual, so that will continue. Our students also will, will have the ability to graduate early from high school uh, if they have the credits that make them eligible to do that. At the same time, educators will be able to reach out students in very uh, unique way, very um, individualized manners so that they can support students uh, to recover credits if that is the case. But students will continue um, being able to recover credit towards graduation. Dr. Carla Luria joining us live on 8 News Now. Doctor, we thank you so much for your time and providing that information for our viewers. We do appreciate it. Thank you.